So there are universities that may have research labs that may not have active groups. For sure. And I tell you, like, it took me more than five years to know where to find thesis. If I understand you right, sir, the point you are trying to make is that the guy preparing beforehand mm -hmm. and attaching the link, the link are the two strategies mm -hmm. to get the attention of the professor. Yes. If you want to be successful in your field of study mm -hmm. during your career or during your study or after you finish your study, mm -hmm. you have to find a dynamic. As long as we have decided that this is the area I want to go into, um, the, the next thing is to work hard for it. Yeah. And I know that the head of this group is what we call a peer in the domain, like a leading scientist. Let us start with chai, actually, is what I... <laughs> so the spring of my microphone is out, that's why I have to hold it. Yeah, but don't worry, it's for better anyways. All right, guys, here I am today with a very good friend of mine. We are in his lab, actually. Uh, he's a PhD student. In fact, let me say, a, a soon-to-be PhD holder, a doctor uh, from the field of biology, specializing in the field of ecology and uh, uh, what was it called? Help me with the name. Disease ecology. Disease ecology, specifically, yes. Now, this is somebody I've known for over five years now. Yeah, almost. Exactly. And uh, if there's one person who is, uh, you know, a chairman in his field, he's uh, Mr. Wilfred. Thank oh. you for joining me today. You're welcome. Okay. Now, uh, he's someone that's experienced with um, study abroad applications, applying for funding, and uh, has gone through a lot, a lot of ups and downs. And I really wanted to hear from him about um, what a lot of PhD and master's applicants do wrong or do right uh, regarding the applications. I myself am applying for my master's now and I wanted to get from, some advice from him. So when I met him sometime last week, I asked him some things I should do and I should not do. And uh, we got into some a really deep topic and i thought oh maybe we could make a video on this so i said okay let me visit him in his lab and then uh ask him to spare some time for us so thank you very much sir for honoring our invitation now uh please can you introduce yourself tell us about your background share us some personal details we'd like to get to know you better sir okay thanks uh my name is uh wilfred i'm from Benin. uh i'm doing my phd here in ecology as you have said before, uh, before coming to Turkey, uh, I was working in a research team back mm -hmm. home uh, for, let me say, two years. And then I decided to complete my PhD, to develop my PhD abroad. Mm -hmm. uh, I applied for some scholarship, it didn't work out. And yeah, it's for Turkey, uh, which works out. And yeah, I thank God. How is the PhD going? <laughs> not bad, you know, PhD, the, the PhD journey is not easy at all, but, mm -hmm. you know, you have to, if you get prepared for that, mm. you can overcome. Mm. So, yeah, me, before starting my PhD, I came ready for that. Uh, I knew what the challenge uh, which was waiting for me. So, yeah, mm. so I'm ready and I'm on it. And thank God, uh, let me say, I have just one year to go to finish so it's been a long journey yeah <laughs> but, uh, i like it all right that's yeah. great from our discussion i remember you mentioned that a lot of people do not know about the opportunities abroad why do you think that is the case or is that really the case <laughs> uh let me say let's focus first on education scholarship abroad mm. Uh, later, we will talk about uh, job opportunities. I think a lot of people don't know about opportunities abroad. Uh, there is a lot of friends who keep asking me about how to apply for scholarship, where are they going to find a, a, a formation. Mm. And sometimes I really feel sad because of what, you know, today we used to say like uh, internet is mm. university. <laughs> the biggest and the best university in the world now is internet so for me uh those questions like everybody is supposed to know mm. how to apply where to find information because we all have smartphone for instance for me the most important is tips how students are going to 
make the application more stronger to to get a fully funded scholarship should yeah. be the most important you mean the question students should rather ask is what are the tips i can use to get fully funded scholarships yeah. not where should i find fully no, funded scholarships if uh, you go to google or youtube okay. you will find information about uh, how or uh, where to find a scholarship all right i agree with you there are so many platforms out a there lot. and even twitter now is <laughs> twitter is helping so much okay okay all right then let's move to the tips then let me ask the right question um what are the tips you would give us to apply well i think tips doesn't help us get into the details what are the mistakes you think we, we are making rather you know i think people are making a lot of mistakes when it's come to looking for opportunity abroad i think people don't know how to find appropriate and relevant program and subject before applying to turkish government scholarship i did a lot of research let's suppose that you want to do a master in europe or whatever you have to, to find first the program the best program and the subject and before doing that you have to read articles so one of the tips i will advise people is to read a lot of articles because what i mean by article is what hmm. from article you will know the affiliation of people working on your field of study okay okay so after funding and you know uh you have to know where to get the good information <laughs> where <laughs> it took me like more than five years to know how and where to find or uh, let me say how to reach professors five years five years for instance let me okay. see in turkey for instance in those developed country they have uh, an open access database where they collected uh dissertation and thesis okay okay so by reading articles and by reading also already defended thesis and dissertation you will mm -hmm. get to know about which program to choose mm -hmm. and then professors working on your field of study and then know also which professor I, 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 can I reach to get? Because you know, when it's coming to graduate uh, 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 mm. a program, mm. most of the time you have to write a proposal. And before writing a proposal, you have to reach out professors. Exactly. Like we, we have to text the professors that want to work with them. We send them so our before, proposal. If before uh, 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 testing, uh, emailing professors, you have to know them. Yeah, exactly. How yeah. to know them is by reading articles and I tell you, like, it took me more than five years to know where to find thesis. Before coming to Turkey, you know, I was spending a lot of days uh, putting, like, maybe uh, uh, ecology, PAD, coma, PAD uh, 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 in Turkey or in, in France or in Canada, but it was difficult for me. You mean you were searching for, on Google, right? On Google. Uh... But now I know that I need just to go to only one place for instance in mm. turkey if you are looking for different thesis and dissertation you have to go to tens york you want to go to france for instance to do your master or phd you have to go to test point effort like uh, thesis like in english or dot effort if you are you want to do phd for instance in in germany mm -hmm. the only place you can get defended Thesis and dissertation in the whole Germany mm. is OETD, Open Access mm. Thesis and Dissertation. Wow. You will find directly all uh, 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 different wow. thesis, mm. and then you will easily reach to professors working in your domain, in your field of study. Mm. But for me, you know, it took like more than years. So, mm. uh, either you, you mm. took a lot of years mm -hmm. to learn for, from it or uh, someone <laughs> like us who got the opportunity mm. tells you about uh, where to find those information so it's very important this is this is really mind-opening yeah i see because 
I, I also write professor's name. Okay, for example, now, okay, since I'm in Turkey, I just uh, look at my department website, mm -hmm. computer engineering, and I check all the professors, then I go to their um, website one after the other to see their research areas and see the one I'm interested in. For other countries, what I've been writing is, okay, I write the area I'm interested in, let's say uh, software management, then I write... You <laughs> spend like uh, a lot of months I see. to get the right information. I see. And so that's, that's why I think it's time to start teaching our people to educate them how to. As I said, for me, the most important is the process, the tips. How mm -hmm. are we going to, to do to secure? Because, you know, scholarships today is easy mm -hmm. if you have a background, mm -hmm. how to yeah. make your application stronger. Yeah. If you yeah. do it, I think uh, it will be easy for you, you know, to, 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 to get a fully funded scholarship. For me, I think that's mm -hmm. the most important. Tips are more important things. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. So number one mistake, if yeah. I would summarize everything, is that um, MSc and PhD applicants do not know. I will say the first thing they don't know how people don't know how to find the appropriate and relevant program. Also, people don't know how to to find the right uh, or groups. Groups. Yeah. Groups as in like you know. Here, as I said, mm. I'm doing my PhD. My, my PhD, where we are, we are now, is Faculty of Science, uh, Department of Life Science, Group of Ecology. Because in Life Science mm. Department, we have uh, those who are working on, we have uh, informatics, we have uh, uh, genetics, we have uh, infectious disease, we have ecology. Mm. So how are you going to know, how are you going to find this group, for instance, if you don't do some research before? So people don't know how to find a good research team. Okay. And me before coming, I knew about this group mm. before coming to before applying. Before applying, I did a lot of research, and I knew mm. that in the whole country, mm -hmm. this research group mm. is the group that is working very well in my field of study. And I know that mm. the head of this group is what we call a peer. In the domain like a leading scientist because you know it's very important to 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 that's why i say the group you know <laughs> it's very important to find the right the appropriate group because today uh the most important is not to get your degree you have to be trained by the peer those who have experience in your field of study okay that's true makes sense of course if you want to be successful in your field of study mm -hmm. during your career or during your study or after you finish your study, mm -hmm. you have to find a dynamic group, a group which is networking with other group. Let me tell you something. Last time I was discussing with my supervisor mm -hmm. and he told me like, okay, uh, if I'm interested after my PhD to go to France to pursue my, my research or whatever, he will introduce me mm. to a researcher, a scientist he know in France. They head in our group. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of collaborators. So these people, they know each other. They know like, each other. There's a network among them. They, yes. We yeah. have a lot of people who finish uh, their master or their PhD and, you know, they don't have any link with other research group in Canada or USA. No. For instance, the group I mean now, we have connection in a lot of countries, UK, USA, Canada. So I can mm. say like uh, I'm in a dynamic group and an it's very important. Group. And I think for sure it will impact my, 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 my career. I just understood something now. So when these professors say get recommendation letters, of course. when they see recommendation letters from a group they know, they know. automatically they just accept. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I see, I see. So there are universities that may have research labs that may not have active groups. For sure, we have a lot of, uh, uh, even though know, we have a lot of uh, our, let me say, professors back home, mm -hmm. they finish their PhD, they get back home, they're not mm -hmm. doing like, uh, they're not active in their research group, maybe because, you know, the group they were trained when they were abroad, uh, the group was not a dynamic group, so they finished out their PhD or they go back home, they get a position, and that's all. There was no networking for continuity. For continuity. 
I see. I see. Hmm, that's a very good point. And yeah. I think a lot of people miss this, miss out on this. Like, yes. it's just about getting the PhD, getting no, no, the funding. No. Uh, but we don't think of what happens next after yes. graduation, which is very important, especially for those who want to uh, really go into their field and become an expert there. Mm, that's a very good point. Yes, I think so. I need to, I need to redo my life. <laughs> I need yeah. to, I need to re strategize too. <laughs> People need strategy. Yeah. Strategy and tips. Wow, wow. Okay, please give us more tips. You were going to mention something about emailing professors before I cut you. Sorry. Yeah, you know, uh, I said like uh, we, as a student, we are doing a lot of mistake. I mentioned uh, we don't know how to find uh, um, relevant and appropriate uh, program, subject, mm -hmm. group. We don't know also how to reach out professors. It's very important. Mr. Alfred, I've read so many things about this, but okay, I, I'm waiting to hear from you, sir. You know, yes, I sir. have a friend of mine. Uh, he finished uh, his master. Right now, right now he's in Turkey, in Canada, mm -hmm. developing his PhD. Do you know how he got the attention of his supervisor? How? <laughs> the guy shocked me, you know. Okay. While shooting, sending the call email, you know, we have to teach also our people how to send cold email mm -hmm. because, you know, a lot of professors are receiving thousands of email per day. Not only people from in Africa uh, 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 who are sending email to people in Europe or in North Korea. America, no. Even people in France or in, in, in Belgium also are trying to move from the from the from their place mm -hmm. to go and learn in another country. And mm -hmm. imagine if you don't know how to reach out of them. So my friend of mine was telling me like uh, while sending the cold email to the professor, mm -hmm. saying like, "Yeah, uh, I did my I'm a new graduate." Uh, master mm -hmm. and i want to do a phd in your in your department mm -hmm. under your supervision and uh is after mm -hmm. he got the opportunity he was telling me this he mm -hmm. said the the professor mm -hmm. after receiving the email she wanted to automatically delete the the email because you know she have received i think a lot of uh, 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 email in that day but something told her like okay wait let me click on the research get leg. Mm. That's another thing. You cannot be uh, mm. uh, wishing to apply for master or PhD without having research uh, 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 get account. The the website the research get. Mm. So my friend mm -hmm. put at the end at the, at the end of the the the, the short uh, mm -hmm. mail. Mm -hmm his uh, research gate account. So the professor went about to delete the message. She clicked on the, the link mm -hmm. and imagine what she saw. Oh. 50 articles. Five zero. 50. Like okay. a student, a mm -hmm. graduate, a, a new master student mm -hmm. with 50 Articles. Do you know what that mean? Even me as a PhD student, I just have like ten articles. Automatically, like the professor said, okay, let's talk uh, full zoom, and it's how he got the attention of mm. the professor, and after he get a scholarship, and now he's developing his PhD now in Canada. There, there's a point here I'm confused about. So, if I understand you right, sir, the point you're trying to make is that the guy preparing beforehand. Mm -hmm. And attaching the link, the link, are the two strategies mm -hmm. to get the attention of the professor. Yes. But if you look at it, for most people, we may prepare beforehand, but we have only ten articles. Do you think professor that professor will open it if there were ten articles? I think so. Even if you no, know, I told you me right now, I have just like uh, twelve or ten articles now. Mm -hmm. So it means what? Even if you don't have like the guy was for he was like outstanding. I, I would, think yeah. I would call him like outstanding. <laughs> exactly, I agree. You may have like five, even three articles. Mm. Yeah, three sounds like a good number. It's possible. <laughs> but if you find the, the right way, how you know we will do another video maybe to teach mm. our people 
how to send cold email it's very important anyway uh, uh, uh one of the goal of sharing those information is what mm. we are ready uh, to help our people you know to to to, to secure as i said to secure <laughs> as a friend of mine said not only fully funded but juicy scholarship <laughs> yeah that's and they good. have to get prepared for that. It's very important. Okay, I, I took something home from this though. The point is to prepare beforehand. It's very important. And then to have a portfolio or something, something to show what you have done, why you are not just a, a starter. Because people don't like beginners, right? Okay, at least that, that, that's a nice take home. A lot has been said and uh, me myself, I'm thinking like, you know, where do I even start? Do you have any other mistake or tip you, you think is important for us to consider when doing our graduate applications yeah i will say uh we have to be consistent consistency and discipline are the key <laughs> it's very important you know these two words are very nice but they are hard to do in real life eh? no especially not. when you get rejections and rejections and rejections it's, do you know how many it's demotivating rejection i've got before uh i've been in this lab today do you know how many <laughs> well, so i learned from that and when I say today, I, I, I'm telling to my people uh, uh, how, how and where to find information. Mm. Those information, which took like five years for mm. me. Now today, I'm sharing. They know the the easiest, the the the, the 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 fastest way to reach some information. So if I was uh, 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 I was not consistent, do you feel like I will reach that level? No, just right. <laughs> and we have also to be disciplined. I mean, to have the ability to do what what is need to be done. Yeah, we need to be disciplined and consistent. It's very important. We should not give up. Huh? We should not give up. Yeah, I think so. You know, as long as we have decided that this is the area I want to go into, um, the the next thing is to work hard for it. Yeah, uh, that makes Let sense. Let me read something. Before I posted something on my mm, social media last time, I said, mm -hmm. if you are not graduated from a top university with outstanding performance during your master or PhD, it's better to forget about academia. And I give you the example of my friend of mine, the friend of mine who went to Canada. The guy, like, I was like, I thought I was shocked. Well, Mr. Wilfred, most of people applying uh, are not first class graduates yeah look at me what do you want me to do <laughs> no we are not uh uh, uh uh idesen but still like uh, with your with your level even if you, you don't have article even if you have one article or if you don't have all those background at least there's something you have to do and we really come about that anyway we we are here to help uh, our people you know to 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 do that because okay. you know is useless to have uh, information and not be sharing it and yeah. not helping people so we should have done this years ago honestly. yeah but you know i'm also uh, uh, yeah, you're a yeah, very busy man <laughs> so I yeah see, i see i see wow mr wilfred you have to open your youtube channel yeah i'm planning to do that guys um i will leave his link to the when you open it okay. share me the link i'll put All it right. in the description below even if you open it next year I'll put it there. Yeah, All because right. honestly, we need this info. We need um, we need um, real life experiences, real life examples, uh, success stories, even failure stories sometimes you're right, you're right. to help us, you know, to, to, to help us move in the right way. Um, is there any final thing you'd like to add, sir? No, uh, if I have something to say, is what I keep uh, encourage my friend, my people who keep asking me, uh how to find uh, opportunities there are plenty opportunities abroad mm. plenty when it's come to education when it's come to education like full mm. scholarship or uh, job opportunities yeah job too is there we've, we've not course, even discussed that yeah i think uh, ah. there are many opportunities outside mm. the, the 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 only thing we need to do is to get ready to mm -hmm. get prepared for you know for 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 those opportunities and to grab them is very important <laughs> yeah 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 i i think so too i think so too and after grabbing them we also remember our people too sure. and give back <laughs> sure. like what i'm doing now you know uh, uh, uh 
Mm -hmm. uh, I took like, uh, you know, let me say from 2013 to 2024 uh, now, 10 years. And now yeah. I'm sharing information to my people. So, of course, it's a good we, way. It's a good beginning. Yeah. yeah, yeah so right. all the start. information I will be sharing from now on will be based on my 10 years of researching about opportunities abroad mm. and my five or four years of living abroad okay yes see you you need you need this youtube channel i tell yeah. you please <laughs> i will don't worry i will yeah. because i have a lot of people that discussing me exactly who, who asking me my help and uh, it's just like i don't have time but yeah i will find time to now um, start doing it thank you please please do i know your phd is not giving you a chance but yeah you know that we too we need help <laughs> so that's it Tamo, thank you so much all right guys i hope you enjoyed this session that's it from mr wilfried i think i should have interview part two sir okay please, let's schedule part two Tamo, I will... if, if you're free okay, by god's right. grace because um there are some inside details we need to know you know like how to improve our uh application yeah uh what's it called how to increase our chances as students that are not first class graduates mm -hmm. or yes. second class yeah. upper graduate huh things like this and then what was it again the last thing i wanted to talk about anyways we'll discuss all of them i, I forgot I'll, I fi I'll find out when i'm editing the video okay thank you very much guys please don't forget to subscribe mr f tell them to subscribe please. no for sure they will because we have given them a lot of information so for sure <laughs> I think will. okay okay yeah. thank you very much guys and please share this with anyone who you think may uh, find it interesting or may find it helpful or educative yeah that's it from us thank you very much i'll see you in the next one bye bye, bye, -bye.